Hello. Let's talk about an 8 stage voltage multiplier and this is an experimental setup and we have also going to see the simulation of this. There are 8 stage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 capacitors and then diodes connected in this fashion as per the voltage multiplier circuit. We have an input of 300 volts and uh, the output is between these two points. In order to measure the output voltage, since it is not practicable to measure the high voltage, we have made a potential divider comprising of 10 resistors, 1 mega ohm each. So whatever voltage we get here, if we multiply it by 10, that will be the output voltage. In the simulation, of course, we can see the output voltage because the simulation can show it. But as far as the meter is concerned, when we have to see in our own practical way, the meter, we have to connect across one resistor only so that we can see what is the total voltage once we multiply this voltage. We have connected a load here also and we have connected an ammeter to see how much current it is drawing. Initially, let's see that we don't have the load on. So we will switch off the load, okay, we have put a switch for the load and then we have connected an os uh, CRO oscilloscope in order to see what is the uh, ripple factor when we load a particular value. Then we have uh, the arrangement where we had seen our setup of a 8 stage arrangement where we had uh, seen that uh, as the load resistance goes on increasing or the current goes on falling or the load goes on uh, falling as the resistance goes on increasing and this is the value what we have seen we have seen in our table that if i use an 100k in an eight stage arrangement the output voltage will be roughly about 2.145 kilovolts and a current of about 21 milliampere so to, uh, to the power uh, yeah okay so this is what is the arrangement that we have at the moment now we'll go back to our original device original circuit where we have the eight stage multiplication and then this is what is the circuit now once we simulate this, there is a CRO, we will see it later and what we see is now, if I pause it, okay, now I find this voltage is around uh, 2392.1 without load, now load is not connected and uh, at every stage you can see the voltage, this stage the voltage is around uh, 500 volts this stage about 1100 volt 1196 and so on so on like that and our input is 300 volts why have I taken input as 300 volts is because the peak voltage we have taken into consideration the peak voltage of the supply voltage roughly and then in that situation we get a DC voltage of 237 volts here if we can look at that we get a DC voltage of 237 volts and Once we go to the um, load in the CRO, what we saw, I find it's a pure DC now. And once we put the load on, <coughs> once we put the load on, we find that, yeah, we find that the load has fallen, and this is the ripple factor that we get. And the current is roughly around 21 milliamperes as we had seen in our calculations and the current here what we can see is roughly around 21 milliamperes 21.5 or so is the current that we have so this is what is the setup that we have and uh, we will try to put it on the hardware and uh, on the hardware also we find it exactly same